So this 1114, show me out at uh, boat ramp one. I'll be with a couple of divers and they found a vehicle off the end of boat ramp. Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell But take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hill Anything else in there? Um, the only some drugs. A couple of weekends ago, I was at Canyon Lake diving one of my favorite spots, and I came across something that was really mysterious. It was a pickup truck that was flipped completely upside down, and I immediately knew that something wasn't right. I found the truck about 35 yards off the end of the boat ramp that you see behind me in 30 to 35 feet of water, but it was flipped upside down with the battery laying next to it, which tells you that it wasn't put there on purpose. So what we're about to do is go back to the car, get our gear on, and we're gonna take another look. There is a constable on site that was patrolling the boat ramp. We told him about what we're doing and he became very interested. So he's waiting in the parking lot for us to come back with the plate numbers. That way we can run a background check and find out a little bit more about what happened with this truck. We're inside of the dive park. And of course, there's going to be a lot of trucks and a lot of vehicles that were put here on purpose. However, the one we're looking for today is not supposed to be here. So we'll be leaving the boundaries of this park. As soon as we make it through this foggy water, you can see a rough outline of exactly what it is I'm looking for. When I first saw this truck the other weekend, the first thing that caught my eye was this battery that was laying here next to the truck on the bottom. If this truck were put here as a part of the dive park, they would have first removed all of the hazardous materials, including this car battery. You can also see the tailgate is hanging wide open, and the dashboard is laying down here on the bottom as well. I think the question that's on all of our minds is what kind of truck is this? The only thing that's left now is to take a look inside. As I was taking a peek in here, my imagination is running a little wild around the idea of finding drugs, guns, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little scared to come across a body. Lastly, before we surface, be sure to grab the plate number. Did you get a license? I did, yeah. As we get out of the water, we hit up the hill to have a quick debrief. You need help? You good? I shoved the camera inside, um, even though I couldn't really get inside. I shoved it inside just to see like what's up on the. And you're sure the there's no body? Or I do not no, think there's a body. There, there is yeah. no body. Yeah. Uh, the dashboard looks like it was taken out. There's wires everywhere. Okay. Do so you think it's like newer than a 210 or? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's been there for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. It does not look. Yeah. There's the fabric still looks good on the seats. Mm -hmm. Good. I saw this 1114. Show me out at uh, boat ramp one. I'll be with a couple of divers and they found a vehicle off the end of the program. 1114 answer. 
Yes, ma'am. 1114. Uh, this is 1114. Hot copy. We'll have vehicles in there for a while. Okay, 10-4. Thank you. He said it's been here a while. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. really? Yep. They said, it's, they said it's been there, but I, I, don't, I don't Even though they said the truck has been there for a while, we have them pull the plate numbers off of the GoPros and run the check anyway. That is crazy. <laughs> it shows to be stolen. Hey there, I, I called this bad, so I asked him to open a call, and he said, well, that's it. been there a while, but I just ran the tag, took his body, so pull it, and it shows stolen. So, they're gonna send a, what they call a heavy rotation out. So, if you guys don't, you guys don't mind uh, popping in and cooking it Not at all, we would love that. All right, okay, yeah. cool. We'll just have to wait for them to get here. So if you okay. guys want to hang around, if you want to do whatever you want to do, yeah, if you want sure to move thing. your gear down here, if you want to set up a little base operation down here, that's fine. No, if you no. want to go get something to eat or whatever you want to do. As the tow trucks arrive, we meet with the guys to make a plan on how this will be executed. The local game warden has also sent in two watercraft of their own to assist in this effort as well. Do you want to get on the boat and go down or do you want to walk out and do it from the ramp? Yeah, I think it'd be faster if we just went from here. All right, go ahead and suit up then if you're okay. ready. Okay, yeah, sounds go good. Suit up. Yeah. After we get our gear put back together, we're going to surface swim right out to the area where we think the truck is. This way we could drop down right on top of it. Our goal is to mark the truck with a surface marker buoy so that the tow trucks will know exactly how much chain they need. Then the game warners can run the chain directly to the truck. Looks like we are right on top of it. Since I'm down here, I might as well get the lift bag out and get the battery ready to go up as well. Next step is to go back down and bring them the car battery. And after we hand off the car battery to the game warden, he runs back to the tow truck and we wait for him to bring us the chains.
it seems like it's harder to move these chains than it should, and there's something here that just doesn't feel right. And it seems that we fit a snag. There's either not enough chain, or it's caught up on a rock somewhere. So I attach the lift bag to the hooks, and we bring it all back to the surface. We need more. They give it a little tug to see if they could break it free from what it's snagged on. Looks like it's actually moving. Mm -hmm. Man, what's the deal? And it doesn't seem to be working. Afterwards, we go back to shore, follow the chain along the bottom, and see if we can unhook it from what it's snagged on. It seems that this chain was bound up on a rock that was pretty close to the boat ramp. We get everything put back together, and we should be good to go now. Yeah, you can pull it. You can pull it. And now that everything's hooked up, it's time for the moment of truth. Now that we got this thing out of the water, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Smells, smells great. Do you mind if I grab the ID? The ID? Yeah. What ID? There's, there's like an oh, ID yeah. in there. Let me get the ID. I get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to show it to you, but we have a driver's license. Oh wow. Okay. And we have a uh, a name and everything. I'm going to hand it over to the police officer and. Cool. Thanks, man. Anything else in there? Um, only some drugs. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, maybe. No, that's some hardware. What about the, uh, straps on the brake? I'm assuming this is how they rigged up the gas pedal to get the truck to run itself into the lake. But at this point, it's been an incredibly long day, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. I'll keep you posted on any additional details that I find out about this vehicle. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next dive. Thanks for watching.